Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. No one might be But try to stop him. T.Y. Johnson sent back by Andre Kelly, and it looks like things might get chippy. Stop oh. it. Let's let's stop uh, it. let's break this thing up here. Stop it. This is no good for anybody. Number two. Yeah, you saw it. Well, he's, number he's, two and number two each had another. Number two's been grabbing and pushing and shoving the whole time. The fight time. between those two number twos. And nothing is fun when a guy like Andre Kelly falls. On the ball screen. Hodge. They are heating up from three. That's my guy, Hodge. I just felt kind of he had a sense of confidence about it this morning. Now a big. Oh, oh hello. Oh, punch is thrown. We got Miguel running down to the baseline. A punch was thrown by Jalen Myers. He threw a left hook toward Dewan Pruitt. So Miguel and Pruitt are face to face. So, oh, wow. Oh, missed that. So Pruitt's going to be tossed from this game. That is unacceptable. So Myers retaliated, and Miguel went back at him. And you understand why Miguel's upset. Wow. This is basically going to be close to out of frame, but that's enough. That is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah. Again, Hicklin hit the game winner Thursday night. He's a clutch performer as well. Copeland's with him. Here's Hendrickson. He got the switch. Fauntleroy's on him. He can still give the foul and it not be free throws. Ball knocked away. Robinson got the steal. He'll throw up ahead to Fauntleroy. He'll give it to Copeland, and he'll try to attempt to put it down, but the ball game is over. And then we have a, a fight breaking out under the basket as Copeland went up. Was going to throw it down to end the ball game, but the red light came on, and now it's spilled over into the crowd. Copeland did not like that he was hit in the air as he attempted to dunk it. As we have security involved, trying to separate the teams. What may come out of this prior to games next week? But the Ospreys head in. They head down the hallway, and again, the coaches now are running in because uh, those hallways are connected back there. And you see the athletic director, Gerald Harrison. So this thing's not over. It'll just go out of your video screen as they meet in the back hallway to finish this one. Just a disgraceful way to close this building. Sorry, folks. I'm going to call it like it is. Science Temple is not going to let you rest. Mintz, the floater. It goes, but they're going to... Oh, oh, geez. That's not good. And Judah Mintz and Doug Edder just got into it. Gross Bullock being held back. John Bullock Jock. And Kayvon Kramer getting into it, jawing at each other. Got the charge call there. Now you get some guys getting tangled up. A little push from Eckert. So Judah Mintz took exception to Eddard. Gives him a little. Uh, and, and that was, was a slap right there by Eckert. That's what that's what I saw. And then Eckert obviously knew to run. And he wanted to get out of there. So the official's going to take a look at this. So Mintz took exception to Eddard pushing him. The response. Doug Eddard is out. Judah Mintz has been ejected. Morris shooting over the double team. Offensive rebound, Ladeja Williams. She's been a beast on the glass. Held ball and a scuffle. Ladeja Williams and Samara Spencer got into it. But on the rebound, Michaela Daniels gets in on the mix. Felt like LaDeja Williams gave a shove, but who came to the defense of Daniels? It was the little sister. Sam Spencer stepped in there. Jenkins to Walker. 
Walker all the way. Walker almost did the split on the end of that, didn't she? Oh, and now oh, oh, oh. players oh. are running. Weish went running off to Penny, and now players need to be separated. Nice. Yeah, we don't need that. They're still trying to separate players. The Weish sisters, Leah and Tati. Sister was apparently coming to her defense. There's Penny there. Ball got up in the face. And now the hurl by Weish, technical there. And then Weish did not calm down and went running after Petty after that. Mitchell looking to continue his hot offensive game. Fading away. Dives on the floor, has the basketball. Hey, whistles blow and look out. First, Oklahoma State had to make sure a couple of players did not leave the bench and get into the scrum. Bryce Thompson's the last one to be hilt up. And Eric Stevenson is asking the crowd to get loud, and they respond. And both teams getting at it in Morgantown. Well, this one might take a minute <laughs> to figure <laughs> out. I mean, it's a really nice play there by Trey Mitchell. And then it becomes a test of manhood. You get in those scrums. Well, shot block, foul called. And they get Dickinson. Right. Buffkin went right into And now contact. And some pushing and shoving. Well, Dickinson and Baycott, two guys that know each other. Look at this. No call. And that set Carolina, especially Hubert Davis, off a little bit. And okay. then Baycott, wow. Got Buffkin. And he went down hard. Oh. And then it looked like it was Caleb Love and Dickinson kind of get tangled. I won't know. Grant Craven's offensive rebound and gets whacked in the head. And then now they're, oh, we got punches thrown. Oh, my goodness. That is not a pretty sight. Bella Cravens took offense to the foul. It, it, she looked like she got it right across the face. Cravens. Here it is again. And then Cravens pushes her and then goes to talk to her and then they both get into it. Well, let's take a look at exactly to see what happened, not to belabor, belabor the point, but just to give you an example of how it happened right there, you can see the hair was pulled by Essence Brown on Bella Cravens. Cravens took exception to it, bumped her, and then it all broke loose. And then everybody was objected. Uh, and you can see the punches being thrown, and I'm sure there's going to be more disciplinary reasons yet to come.